So we talk about money. We talk about money because God talks about money and he talks about money a lot because it seems to be really important. It seems to be important how we view money and how we use money and how that affects our soul. And so we talk this weekend about how to understand money and the church and specifically giving money to the church. Why we do it, where we do it, when we do it and how we do it. And the reason we have to talk about these things is because it's maybe one of the most misunderstood conversations we can have. It's one of the things that can lead us to not being unified and understanding why. God himself tried to help us understand what it means to give when he said, don't give out of pressure, don't give out of guilt, but give so you can give cheerfully. And give an amount that you can give cheerfully to him, to the church, for kingdom purposes. My wife Jackie and I, when we were first married, we were pretty much dirt poor. Both of us working very entry level jobs, not bringing a lot of money home. But the first conversation I really had with someone about giving towards the church, they said, just start. Just start giving whatever you can give. And so for the first few years, we were giving like maybe one or two percent of our total income. But they said, give and give cheerfully and see what God does and see how you feel about giving your money to being part of something, part of giving other people the good news of Jesus Christ. And every year since then, we've been able to give more, more and more and more towards what God is doing because God has blessed us in incredible ways. But what I wanna challenge you, if you're the church and you've maybe not had conversations about money and giving, or maybe you've been hurt and burned on the topic, is to not give up on it. Because how we give, how we give out of the things that we've been given by God, that comes right out of the heart. It comes right out of what we believe about who really owns everything. So if you need to talk to someone in your home church, or you wanna talk to someone from Epiphany Station, please do that. Because we love to see people understand the freedom that comes when we get to understand that everything we own is not our own.